Today we are going to discuss stages of recovery from myocardial infarction or how the heart muscle recovers after myocardial infarction or acute coronary occlusion or heart attack. Basically myocardial infarction or acute coronary occlusion or heart attack is the occlusion of a coronary vessel due to which blood flow to a specific area of the heart is decreased or stopped and that leads to decreased functioning of the heart muscle and it may lead to sudden death or it may lead to de uh, to death of, uh, due to a lot of conditions like cardiac shock or acute pulmonary edema or a rupture of the cardiac muscle or a ventricular fibrillation now we have discussed uh, all of them in detail in our previous lectures uh, you can watch them for uh, complete understanding now today we are going to discuss the recovery that once a patient has survived the myocardial infarction then how within uh, within coming days weeks or months the patients uh, will recover and the portion of the heart which was damaged due to occlusion of the blood flow how that portion will uh, recover now we have uh, two scenarios in one scenario we will have a, a small occlusion in which the blood flow to the small area will be occluded or a small blood vessel or a branch of the main coronary vessel will be occluded but there will be still some amount of blood coming to the area which is damaged and in another scenario there is complete occlusion of the blood vessel in which there is no blood coming uh, to that area now in the first scenario in which there is small occlusion or there is still some amount of blood vessel coming because a small branch has been blocked and another branch is functional through which blood is coming to this area now in this scenario there is ischemia which has been shown with the blue color there is ischemia of this portion of the heart muscles because it is not properly receiving the blood but still some amount of blood is coming some oxygen nutrients are coming through small branches and the no muscle fibers have died in this area there is uh, no muscle a death of no muscle fibers in this whole area but the blue color is showing the ischemic area in which there is decreased blood flow and then surrounding the blue area which has been shown with the black color is the non functional area so we have the ischemic area which is basically non functional and then surrounding is basically weak area the blood flow to this area is almost normal but uh, this is on the uh, border of this ischemic area so it has some effects of ischemia so it is a uh, weak otherwise its blood flow is uh, normal now in another scenario in which the main bl oh, blood vessel has been occluded here here no blood is coming to the uh, here the area or the ischemic area is large and the center of this area is not receiving any amount of blood or nutrients so some of the muscle fibers which has which have been shown with the red color have died in the center of this area and the surrounding blue color area the surrounding blue color area the area which is surrounding this red color area which, uh, this is basically ischemic or non functional so the red color is basically this area has the muscle fibers have died then there is non functional area because there is some ischemia but there is small amount of blood coming or some nutrients and oxygen are anyhow coming through collateral vessels we discussed that when our a main blood vessel is occluded small vessels from other blood vessel small anastomosis starts occurring from other normal vessels and that start supplying blood to this area so there might be some uh, blood flow coming to this area and these surrounding fibers will not die but they will be non functional and after uh, surrounding these non functional area or the ischemic area there is this black color area which is basically weak these muscles are also weak 
just because they are having some effects of ischemia but their blood flow is much much better than the ischemic area so in a small ischemic zone we have uh, ischemic area and then there is we have a weak area which is uh, better than the ischemic area so uh, and in a large infarct or in uh, when a large uh, bleeder or a, or a large blood vessel has been occluded in the center uh, we have some fibers which have died there are no and surrounding the dyed fibers there is a non-functional area which is ischemic which is non-functioning which is poorly functional but the fibers have not died in this area in the blue area which is shown here and surrounding that uh, blue area on the outer uh, uh, boundaries of the that non-functional area there are some weak areas which are functional but they are weak and some effects of ischemic uh, ischemia is occurring there but other otherwise there they have some amount of blood flow which may be coming from the collateral circulation now these are two different scenarios which occur uh, because of the type of blood vessel either a main blood vessel has been occluded or a small vessel has been occluded and depending upon the blood flow whether the uh, the blood flow is completely stopped or there is some small amount of blood coming to the uh, infected area or the damaged area now how this area will uh, start a recovering now in the initial uh, few hours the the uh, after initial once the attack attack has occurred the myocardial infarction has occurred or the acute coronary occlusion has occurred after 2 to 3 hours if blood flow is not restored the center of the large the center of the large infarct will have uh, some uh, dying fibers the muscle fibers in this area will have died after two to three hours of the acute attack and the surrounding area the surrounding area will be non-functional non-functioning because of the ischemia so the central area have died fiber they are basically not receiving any amount of blood so the fibers in the center have died and they will die after two to three hours but the surrounding area is ischemic and non-functional and after passage of some more time or a day this dead area this dead area will increase in size this dead area will increase in size you see the red color area which basically represents the dead fibers the dead muscle fibers of this uh, cardiac muscle they have increased in size and that ischemic area that ischemic area or non-functioning area which was receiving little amount of blood but the fibers were alive and were not dead that blue color has decreased now this blue zone this ischemic zone this non-functioning zone has decreased because of two factors one factor is that some areas of on the on the boundary of the infected dead fibers also died initially they were weak but after passage of time they died so which led to an increase in the uh, died area there is an increase in the area uh, which includes which has the died muscle fibers because initially these muscles were ischemic they were ischemic but then they die after some time because initially this zone has had some small amount of oxygen or nutrients or blood flow coming but after passage of some time even this area died so it increased the red zone it increased the red zone and it decreased the blue zone the ischemic zone decreased another another uh, mechanism due to which this ischemic zone or the non-functioning zone has decreased it is because the outer portion the the muscle fibers in the outer portion of this ischemic area they have basically recovered so there are uh, two scenarios there are two scenarios one is that the some fibers they will basically uh, they won't be able to develop their blood flow or uh, they will not be able to receive enough nutrients or oxygen and they will die which will lead to a decrease in the blue zone which will lead to a decrease in the blue zone and increase in the red zone 
or the is the ischemic zone will basically decrease but another reason for the decrease in this blue zone is this blue zone is decreased because the outer portions they develop their normal function they develop their normal function by receiving normal amount of blood and that starts they become functional so this it also leads to decrease in that ischemic zone or decrease in an the ischemic area so this is another stage of a recovery from the myocardial infarction then finally this dyed fiber this dyed fiber these uh, fibers will be attacked by fibroblasts fibro blasts and the area will become fibrous tissue this area will become fibrous tissue so this fibrous tissue area it has been shown with the white color because this area it will be invaded by the fibroblast and it will become fibrous uh, fibrous tissue then the fibrous tissue will start uh, start contracting and this area will decrease further as compared to this area so the stages of the recovery from myocardial infarction uh, depends upon whether the infected area is a small area or a large area now if there is a small area there will be no dead tissue and it will recover it will recover but initially there will be some ischemic zone and surrounding the ischemic zone there will be some weak zone which will have normal blood flow but will have some effects of ischemia but will other, will be otherwise normal and this area will basically recover its collateral circulation and it will become functional it will become functional and if the ischemic area is large or the a large blood vessel has been occluded then the ischemic area will be large and in the center of ischemic area there will be some fibers which will basically die once the fibers be, uh, in the inner area of the ischemic zone has have died then the surrounding area which is basically initially ischemic but have not died they will also either either die or recover they will either die or recover so both of these lead to the uh, decrease in this blue color zone and it will the dye the dyed fibers will basically increase the red zone and uh, it, it will decrease the blue zone and the recovered fibers will also decrease the blue zone so the ischemic zone will either die or it will either recover and once uh, this process is finished the dyed fiber will be invaded by the fibroblast the fibroblast will convert this area this ischemic zone into the fibrous tissue the fibrous tissue will start contracting and relaxation and it will decrease the, this uh, fibrous uh, tissue area then what will happen is finally there will be hypertrophy there will be hypertrophy of the surrounding muscle for example if this area have died it and the center of this area has been converted into fibrous tissue to recover to recover or to compensate for the loss of this area the surrounding heart muscle it will increase in size or it will hypertrophy it will basically hypertrophy so hypertrophy is basically increase in the size of the normal muscle and it is basically to to compensate for the weakness that has been developed so that's all about the stages of recovery from the myocardial infarction thanks a lot for watching the video